Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley if you are new and I am going to be filming with you in my family planner with all this extra stuff that doesn't belong that I need to put away. And you know when you start filming, the stack of what you need to put away just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Because <sighs> all your leftovers and all your things and all the stuff and you just get big piles. But I'm going to be using this absolutely gorgeous kit from Nicole Alexia Designs. And it's beautiful. Fresh flower market. I love it so much. And we're just going to go ahead and get started quickly. And I'm going to move my leg because it's like completely asleep and horrible. And I'm going to hurry before my kiddos um, stop behaving for me. Because they're being little angels right now. And the moment I say that, it's going to erupt into catastrophe. But for now, they're being little angels. And they're being so sweet and playing with their brother. And they're playing toys together. And, and it's just lovely. Like, I love when they do this. I love it. It's, it's beautiful and lovely and sweet. And I just treasure it. You know? Which, like I said, inevitably means that soon it's going to crash and burn. So I need to hurry up. <laughs> but for now, they're being sweethearts. So, um, Jensen was having a rough afternoon. He wasn't sleeping very well, and I spent so long trying to get him to nap because I knew he needed a nap, and he wouldn't. And every time I would get him to sleep, I'd put him down in his bed, and 10 minutes later, here he would wake up again. I tried to just put him down in his bed to go to sleep on his own, which I have been doing. And he's been doing really well with it. But here lately, since he's had like this cold, he won't do it. He will not go to sleep on his own. And so I'm like, well, crap. And so then I have to put him to, the, to sleep. And when I do that, that means that he falls asleep on me. And then he doesn't want to go sleep back in his bed. And then when I put him back in his bed, 10 minutes later, he kept waking up. And I was like, good grief. Like, what is going on here? And so, um, I finally just held him for like an hour and then, um, I got him, I put back and put him back in his bed and lo and behold, five minutes later, here he is awake again. And I'm like, good Lord. So I just got him up. So hopefully he'll sleep tonight. I don't know what's going on. We had a birthday party for him on Saturday night. Today's Monday. And, um, like today's Monday and we had a birthday party for him on Saturday night and, uh, my nephew was playing with everybody. My niece and nephew came, my brother and sister and their spouses and my niece and nephew, they came. My sister has a little girl and my brother has a little boy and they're the little my nephew is two, and my niece is almost four, which I can't even fathom. Like, what? So, and she's so itty-bitty. Like, so itty-bitty. And so, um, they were all playing together, and my brother, like, my nephew was whining, and my brother went to go and, you know, be a dad and do whatever it is that, you know, fix it. And he was like, man, you're really hot. And I was like, well, it's probably because it's hot in here. Because, okay, a complaint from the peanut gallery. Um, I thought they were playing so nicely. It turns out they're complaining about watching their brother and playing with him because he's stealing their toys. And they can't play. <laughs> they can't do their role playing with their, with their action figures because he won't stop grabbing them. Um, anyways, so um, I... They, they, he, he's, our air conditioner's not working. Um, actually, it's never worked since we moved in, and we figured that out when it started to get warm. It just wouldn't come on, and then when the air guy came out, he said that it has a huge leak in it, so it's not gonna go, and it's not gonna work, and so that's just fan freaking fantastic, and now we've been having 80 degree days, and nobody cares, apparently, because they still haven't came back out to fix it, and it's really really frustrating especially for me not so much for Joshua because he hasn't been here he's been working but um honestly 
I'm glad he's been working a lot because he would be furious and he probably wouldn't be so nice to the management company. So <laughs> he's like, I pay so much to live here, like so much to live here and you can't fix it. Like you're not going to fix the fact that we don't have an air conditioner. Like, what the heck is going on here? They're taking their time. They're not, they haven't even contacted us about it. It's just pretty ridiculous. So anyway, but, um, hopefully they figure that out because it's, it's hot. It's a little warm. It's toasty in here and I'm tired of it. So anyways, I was like, well, maybe he's just hot because he's been running around playing. And my brother was like, well, it's not that, it's not really hot in here to me. And I was like, yeah, but that's because we're sitting still and I've had the fans on and all of that stuff to make it, you know, cooler, but they are running around. So he might be a little hot. And he was like, well, maybe that, you're right. Maybe that's it. I didn't really think of that. And then it turns out when they got him out of the car, he was really hot. Like I thought he was just, he just meant like you're, you're warm, you're hot. You're sweaty, whatever. No, no, he had almost 103 degree temperature. And so, holy crap, like they took him to the doctor today because he ran fever all day yesterday. And um, they can't find anything wrong with him. So, who knows? But now we all feel like crap. So, I don't know if it was like a viral thing and now we have it or, but it was only 24 hours. So, I guess we'll feel better. But it's just, uh, my throat is killing me, which that's what she said about him is that his throat was like super red. My throat super red. But um, to be fair, I always get seasonal stuff going on and it might just totally be a coincidence. But nobody has fever here. But then again, like we literally never run fever with anything we have. If, if it's fever you know it's bad like the only time they've ever really ran fever when they were a little older is when they had covid and we all got it at the same time and we all ran really high fever but other than that nope no fever so i don't know i know that tristan woke up not feeling well and he sounds pretty crummy but um who knows who even knows? So, this kit is so pretty and vibrant and lovely. And I just need vibrant and lovely in my life. It's been a struggle. This past few months for me, really the whole year so far, has been a really, really big struggle for me and my family. Like, my little family. It's been really rough for us. And there's been some good things along the way that I'm super excited and thankful for, for sure. And we're beyond blessed, but it's, it's been rough. And, um, I just, I want it to get better. I want it to turn around and I've just had this feeling in my spirit that it's going to be spring is going to bring new life and it's going to bring change. And in a lot of ways, not just in nature, but in a lot of ways and that's what I'm hoping and praying for because we need it <laughs> it's it is very needed in this house and so I'm hoping that that's the case it's just been a struggle I've been on the struggle bus Josh has been working so much that's made it even more on the struggle bus and you know I just need some good things good changes okay I have been cooking a lot lately and I don't like to cook you guys like at all I don't enjoy it most of the time when I cook the food I don't even want it because now I've smelled it the whole time I'm cooking I have been around it I've touched all over it I just don't even want it anymore so most of the time when I cook I don't even want to eat and so I don't like to cook it's not my favorite thing to do I already have to clean it up. Now I have to cook it all. Like, it's just bleh. Like, you know, I don't love it. Okay. thought that the light was off, but it wasn't. So, um, yeah, I don't enjoy cooking. And I've been cooking. And um, it's not been bad, actually. It's been, 
I've, I've enjoyed watching Joshua enjoy the food that I'm making. Um, cause most of the food I have made, I don't even like it. <laughs> so I don't even want to eat it anyway. And he has loved it. Like I've made three new recipes and he's loved every single one of them. So I'm, I'm hoping I'm on a roll. I have some more recipes to make this next week and I'm going to see if he likes those. I'm hoping he will. And so yeah, it's just nice to have different kinds of foods in our rotation because I feel like like we get stuck in a rut of the same food over and over and over again. And then it's just like, ugh, like, what are you making this time? <laughs> it's the same stuff you make every time. And you know, that's for me and Joshua. Like we both we both do that. So um I think it's nice to have new foods to add to the list of what you make from week to week so that you can have a little bit of variety in your life. I mean, goodness. And it's hard. It's hard to get my kids to try and like pretty much anything, but m Tristan's the best at it. But he was like in love. I made some homemade meatballs. And he was like, oh my god, daddy, did you try these meatballs? And he tried them and was like, oh, okay. And he loved them too, and so I was on a roll with the meatballs. So, <sighs> definitely going to make those again. And I just made like two different spaghetti sauces because I like different ones than he does. And then I made him some Zupa Toscana. It's like a Olive Garden copycat recipe. I made that. And, um, I make, um, what else did I make? I made like smothered ranch chicken and he loved that. So just going to make all the things all the time and see, see which ones that he likes the most because he's just been working so much that I've been trying to have like dinner for him when he has Come home and not work tonight. Job. Um, I've tried to have yummy food and different food because sometimes it's just much more fun to eat something that you haven't ate a thousand times, you know? So I was happy to do it. But, and I'm sure he was happy too because he was like, heck yeah, I don't have to choose food. I'm all in. Because he literally hates choosing the food. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something real crazy. And I'm going to put... First of all, I'm going to move this sticker because it's crooked as the day is long. And... Then I'm going to put this here. No, I'm going to do it here. And here. Oops. Crook it again. Goodness, Ashley. There. Okay. Pretty. Beautiful. Lovely. Love it. Okay. So... Let's see what we're going to do here. Um, <clears throat> on, I'm trying to decide, do I want to pull some full box checklists? And I think I might. I think I might want to. Are they over here? Yes, they are. All right, so let's see what we have going on here. No, I've got options. I just need to find what they are. Mm, no. No, these are... Yeah. I mean... There's just not blue in it. Like, this is kind of that grayish color. I don't think that would be terrible. Um... UPS driver was like in a hurry down our street. He was like going fast. 
watch out. I was going to say there's kids that play around here, but I haven't seen any kids. <laughs> I think of mine are like the only ones. And I don't understand how because these are like, there's like some bigger houses in this neighborhood. And I don't, I know there's kids that live behind us, but I don't know any kids like around on our road. And that's so weird to me because these houses, like, who are they fitting in there? They just have that big old house themselves. Like, I don't know very strange to me but you know whatever see that would have been really pretty but I don't have enough of those and this one's really pretty I think I might just do this just for the simplicity of it but I don't know because I really like this one I kind of like this I think I'm gonna use it I really I do really like this one too but I think I'm gonna use the color These are from Shop Jessica Hearts, and I really like them. And that's crooked. Dang it, Ashley. I think I might have put the glitter header on crooked, so it's going to be a little crooked regardless, but we're just going to... Yeah, that's much better. So I hope that you guys are having a good week. Today is only Monday for me, so I'm actually planning this like really ahead of time and I'm happy about that because that doesn't really happen for me. Usually I'm like right on time or late <laughs> and I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to get my stuff together and plan it out, you know, a nice amount of time so that I can try and um, edit it, edit it, edit it to get it up, um, you know, when it's relevant instead of this. And then I'm not going to use a checklist for this one. Yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. Okay, so I have these two left. Okay, so for Monday... I'm only going to put a few things down to pre-plan because I really don't know what's going to happen. Um, I do have a eye appointment on Monday at 5.40. And I think I'm going to use this for that. And I am using a sparkly box because I'm super excited about it because I'm blind. Like, my contacts are crappy and I can't hardly see out of them. <laughs> they're really crummy and they're in desperate need of a change. Okay, so then I know that I want to film a bunch. And I also know that we have, like, a crap ton of homeschool stuff to complete we have got to get on that bandwagon and I've got a new system that I'm implementing that I'm like super excited about. Let me know if you guys are interested, if you follow my vlog channel, if you guys would be interested in seeing like kind of our homeschool vibe, what we got going on, kind of like, I don't know if it's a day in the life because I feel like that says this is what we do every day and ours is not really like that, but at least like, you know, a day in the life, not necessarily every day this is every day this is what we do every day but you know a day just to kind of show you um, kind of how it goes and so um i'm hoping to share some of that over on my other channel if you guys would like to see it but i am hoping to implement this new system this week that i'm in now so you know i'll be able to see how it's working out because I just, there's a couple of things I'm missing and that I have to kind of get first before I heard something. I thought it was a cry, but it was, a, it was play, not sadness. So it wasn't a cry. It was like a, I don't know, like a war cry for a toy or something. I don't know what they're doing, but it was, it was happy play instead of sadness. But I thought it was something wrong for a second. Okay. And then Wednesday we have church. Which I am going to put down. And I'm going to use some of this washi to put it down. 
And then, I don't know what else, I don't know what else, I don't know what else, I don't know what else. This is our weekend. Oh. Oh. This is our weekend, but it's Mother's Day, so I bet this won't be our weekend. So we will get Jaren this week. Okay. Well, totally forgot about that. Glad I looked. Glad I have a planner, because otherwise I would have no idea. So I don't know if we're getting him two weekends in a row, or like what's happening. I have no idea. It is our weekend. I'm going to put that down at the bottom since it will be in the evening that that happens. And there you go. Okay. And then Sunday is church, of course. And I'll put that down. And then there you go. That's all I'm going to pre-plan. I know it's not a lot, but it's still lovely and beautiful and pretty and fun. And it's only Monday, so I can only show you. Like, I put queen, but it's not very pretty because it was a crappy pin. And I need to go over it with a pretty pin, and then I need to put an icon on it. But, hold on, baby. So, that is how this week is so far. Pretty much the same as I left it. And then, that's how this week is going to be in the beginning. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye, guys.